Hi everyone, today we're focusing on four basic poses that are perfect for anyone. So if you're new to yoga or feeling a little bit inflexible, these poses will build strength, improve flexibility and just get you comfortable with the foundations of yoga. So one of the um, main poses is a forward bend or forward fold. And the mistake people make is to round their back. So you want to have a flat back. So you don't want to lock your knees. So there's two things there that you want to be aware of. But to gradually build your flexibility, this is the way to do it. So starting with your feet hip width apart, I will turn sideways so you can see. So standing up nice and straight. So inhale up, so this is what you'd normally do. You're just gonna round that back. And this is not what we don't wanna do. So we wanna stand up nice and straight. And we're gonna come forward with a flat back. So you're folding from the hips. So you're reaching and lengthening forward. Now, don't lock your knees, place your hands on your thighs and just come down as far as is comfortable for you. But you're not rounding your back. Your back is straight. So have, have a little bend in your knees. And just gradually and just hold, hold wherever's comfortable for you. It can be, you know, you can get blocks or a chair or whatever. So, you know, use whatever you need. But try, you know, don't think you've got to go straight down. Just take your time and keep that, that little bend in the knees and keep that back flat, back straight. And come down as far as is comfortable for you. Remember, progress is more important than perfection. And gradually, if you practice these on a daily basis or even more than once a day, just gradually your flexibility will return and the strength will be there and you'll be able to come all the way down. And then fold in. Again, you don't have to lock your knees. You don't have to have the legs straight. That's really an option. You have a little bend in your knees like that. That's absolutely fine. It's more about keeping that back straight. That's it. And you're going to hold, you're going to hold, so wherever is good for you, just hold. Don't be hard on yourself, just take your time. You're doing the very fact that you've shown up on the mat, you're doing the very best thing you can for yourself. So thighs, blocks, chair, whatever you need, and just gradually, the more you do it, the more flexible you'll become. And just hold it, breathe. And to come out, bend your knees and roll up nice and slow. Just inhale up and exhale down. So that is the forward fold. Moving on to uh, chair pose, which is another one. So there's various uh, modifications for this one. So to begin, we're going to start, so you want your big toes touching and your heels a little tiny bit apart and your knees are together. Now this is chair pose, but to modify, so you're, you're rooting that tailbone down to the floor, but to modify, you have several options. Arms, you can keep straight out. You can have them in prayer. You can use a chair, which I'm gonna demonstrate. So literally, big toes together, heels slightly apart, and you can see, and you've got that added benefit of knowing that you, you can just rest there. And again, you keep those hands in prayer, so you're just trying that pose out by giving yourself some support. Remember not to hold your breath, and you can stretch your arms up. And then you can gradually just lift yourself back up and lift yourself off and sit down and lift off and sit down and practice with your arms. And just remember not to be too hard on yourself. Just take your time and gradually, as I said before, your, your flexibility will return. There's a couple of other options with chair pose. I'm gonna show you that one as well which includes using a folded blanket so that your heels are slightly raised up off the floor 
So again, you can choose that straight ahead. You're just rooting that tail. So imagine rooting your tailbone down to the floor, keeping your back nice and straight. And as I say, if that's too hard, stretch the arms out. Remember not to hold your breath. Hands in prayer, whatever works for you. But you can feel the strength that you're building in your legs. So, inhale up. And down. So that is a couple of modifications for chair pose. So the next one is a side bend. So with your feet hip width apart, standing tall. Again, shoulders down away from your wrists. Lift that head up. Inhale your arms up. So big stretch up and you can clasp them together and then just gently lean over. Now, if you can only go this far, that's fine. You're getting a lovely side stretch all the way up that side of the body. Try to be aware of keeping your hip, your shoulder, your elbow and your wrist in line. If you're letting that arm come forward, you're twisting the body. So keep everything aligned. Most important, don't hold your breath. So you're getting a lovely side stretch. And then slowly straighten up, inhale and exhale down the other side. So again, be aware of that shoulder wants to roll forward, it means your chest collapses and you don't want that. You want to roll that shoulder back, stretch those arms. But if you're up here, that's fine. Just take your time and be kind to yourself. Keep breathing and inhale up and bring those arms down and the final pose is warrior two so with your feet nice and wide again as wide as is comfortable for you turn out that right foot now we want to bring that knee over the ankle but you can keep that gap a little less so depending on how flexible you are I mean I can take my leg all the way back but the most important thing is keeping that front knee over the ankle so again walk that foot in if that's you know it can be really close and then gradually move it out keep that knee over the ankle stretch those arms and really focus imagine somebody's pulling your arms in opposite directions so big big stretch take a nice deep breath here so just hold the pose so you're pressing those back toes, the little toe, into the mat so that foot's not rolling forward. So pushing it down, you'll feel a lovely stretch in the front of that thigh and the hip flexor. And you're looking, you're focusing on that, that right hand. Looking at the fingers. And then we're going to lower down. And obviously your legs are the perfect distance for you. So we're just going to do the other side. We're going to turn the other foot out. Bring that knee over the ankle, press the back little toes into the mat, get that lovely stretch there and stretch those arms out. And we're going to just hold this as well. Nice big breath in. And slowly lower down and just walk those feet all the way back. And we're just finishing mountain pose, which is really just standing up straight, but it's more, more complex than it looks to do it right. So feet hip width apart or slightly closer together, whatever feels most comfortable for you. But imagine drawing your tailbone down and imagine somebody's lifting your head up with a string. So it's kind of lifting out of the shoulders. So the shoulders are down away from the ears. And just look straight ahead. This is wonderful for your posture. And inhale your arms up. Bring the palms together. Exhale through the mouth. As you bring your hands down. Great job, everyone. Keep practicing these poses and you'll see improvement over time. And remember, as I said before, progress is more important than perfection. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.